I'm gonna have to change my strategy and be more aggressive though. I'm ready to defeat them before they defeat me. Alright, I'm attacking all of them. I've got time though. I'm charging them though. I'm trying to um, get off some AoE damage. I hope they're on my line of sight. AoE damage if anyone who's in front of my swords is gonna be taking damage off. They need to be positioned so they're in front of my swords. And this is on hard though. So it's more challenging than normal though. And we gotta try to um, defeat the foot ninjas though. The ninjas seem to have the least amount of health. And then we could deal with Shredder. Shredder is a final boss in this game. And we just defeated his foot ninjas, his guards. I've got about one third HP though. Shredder could hit hard though. We just avoided my um, sword ground pound. I sh I shouldn't have fired him. And last time he was mainly winning because the machine was landing on me. So you may want to avoid having him even go near the machine. That way you don't take the risk of it landing on yourself. But he's using the machine though, he's hitting it. Hopefully he can land on him this time. I think he can land on him, there we go. He's going to take a tremendous amount of damage from the lightning if it is able to hit him though. He's half dead though. The machine is a tremendous asset. Now that he's stunned I can do a heavy attack. Get him some nice damage. I'm rolling. He kicked me from behind though. He got very powerful attacks, especially his lightning sword. The machine hit him again, he took a tremendous amount of damage. So the odds are in my favor now. The machine just landing on him, he's now landing on me. I just defeated the Shredder. He has 76 seconds left. I'd easily continue though. Which is unfortunate though, because it may take up your, some of your points though. The Shredder is defeated and you can see that in the form of a cutscene. And now I think we get to take get to take a trophy from Master Splinters from though we should have earned though because we won the tournament, we saved the day and hopefully we um, save the Fugitoid and this is one out of seven different arcade modes I would assume every arcade mode is different from the previous one because you're not going to be able to fight yourself though for example if you're Leonardo you may be fighting in a brawl against Raphael However, you're Raphael, you may be fighting against Leonardo though, so there's could be at least one different battle though. And the Shredder is um, finally defeated with his daughter, Gari, and the Fugitoid is using his teleporter to um, send them away to a different area in the world though, so hopefully they can't cause any harm in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle universe to anybody. And, um, now Master Splinter is rewarding us, so, and we get to choose a prize from the trophy room, and there seem to be a plethora of different options to pick, though, so it's very nice, it gives you an incentive to, um, be the arcade mode because you get a prize. Alright, I've already earned five of them in the past, you could choose red or blue, I'm gonna go with red, I guess, open in the, the um, chest. We gained, um, says you unlock the bonus content, Lionsgate trailer, cartoon, DVD. Alright. So we unlocked the trailer, though. And then after you defeat the arcade mode, though, there's an additional cutscene. And it informs you of... Basically... The prizes that you potentially could have unlocked. And it shows you, basically, life after completed the TMNT smash them up arcade mode and it seems um and so when you light candles in a comic book setting that they appear to be um the smoke appears to be um basically a shaded version of a black color which is interesting though 